never done this before. I see people do it. I don't even know. Am I tipping backwards? Am I tipping forwards with the stand? Without? Um, maybe that was too, too much tipping. Okay, I am pretty sure I have missed my window. I thought today was going to be the last day that I would go into the beehives. Happy New Year, by the way, it's 2024. And this is the first week of the new year. But let me tell you, last week, Christmas week, was 67 degrees. And I thought for sure I had time to come out here and go through these hives just one more time. I have seen act ooh, I've seen activity on both of these hives lately, but not not too much today. Is that a dead one right there that they're carrying out? I guess it is. I don't think I've ever seen that before. All right, let's walk around a little bit, check the temp, and then hope for more activity. What does that say? That says it's windy. Let's see if I can read this thermometer in the shade the old fashioned way. Kind of hard to see. What does it say? 50, about 52? Which I actually would think would be okay, except for the wind. So I can touch the water, I bet it's cold. Yeah, it is cold. Let's check the lake and we'll check the chickens while we think about it. All right, let's go look at the chickens. Maybe I will uh, ask for some chicken advice while, while we're here debating about whether or not I can get in these beehives. Chickens. Oh, I found one right here. Chicken number one. And we still have five of them left. Though not as many eggs as we used to get. So we've just been letting them run around in the yard, which we didn't do when we first got them. I think I've never played hide and seek with chickens before. Yes, today's the day. Oh, here's one. One, two, three, four. You lost your friend. <laughs> we got four out of five together. And one out back. It's interesting to me. They really haven't wandered very far and I will say I think this is the first time I've seen one just totally on its own out there. All right we gotta figure out what to do with these beehives. It is windy so I think given that it's kind of cold and kind of windy I think I'm not gonna go through them despite how much I want to and I even got uh we went let's see the week before Christmas. Don't forget to check the weight of your hives. Okay weight of the hives we'll do that next. The week before Christmas, we went to North Georgia, near Helen. I forgot the exact location, but went to Bob Benny's location. It was so fun and so nice. We really, really enjoyed it there. Really enjoyed meeting him and his family and staff. And um, oh my gosh, could have bought probably one of everything in the store. It was so fun and so cool. All right, I'm going to check the weight. So I can do that. I can tip them back and see if they have any weight. Though I don't know. I've never done it before, so I don't really know what I'm comparing to, but let's give it a shot. I feel like I've never, I, I've never done this before. I see people do it. I don't even know. Am I tipping backwards? Am I tipping forwards with the stand? Without? Um, maybe that was too, too much tipping. Honey. What? Honey. 
Yeah. One hand on top, the hive, one hand on the bottom, back of the hive, tilt it up, and then set it down. That's all you gotta do. Here you go. If it feels light, you need food. I don't know, light compared to wood. And I can lift it. Oh, that one's really light. So I'm going with we need food. I'm about to go upstairs for food, but now we have action. And maybe that means I made him mad. I didn't prepare any smoke. I'm just gonna do it. Put them on. Oh, you want to look at this? Maybe I should have had some smoke. Oh, there's a lot of bees in there. I might glove them in my pocket. All right, I'm gonna be speedy. Uh-oh, there's not a lot going on in there. It's really not. I did see some here. Oh, that's okay. All right, I'm calling it fed. And I will come back before it gets too cold so it doesn't freeze overnight. And I don't want to leave them open like this. So I will see you later and we will see how much food these bees can eat on this January day. on so I would not forget to take this syrup off. I didn't want to forget and leave them uncovered all night. I feel like that would be bad. Not only would the syrup water potentially freeze, we would have uh, no good coverage. But let me show you this. This is my favorite part. These are, I got these at Bob Benny's store. These are goat skin beekeeping gloves and they are size extra small so thank you for all your glove advice i think i have gloves that fit so i'm just gonna bucket off lid on shake the bees go Ooh, it's heavy. Whoa, I didn't think it was going to be heavy. I'm glad I wore all those gloves. Ah. I was not expecting that. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Number two, maybe I'm more prepared this time. Though actually this one didn't have so many beads up here. Maybe it will now. Oh, yep, there they are. Whoa. I am so glad I thought about not suiting up for this, but I am glad I did. I'm gonna whoa. I'm gonna look for a brush and just see if I can brush these guys toward their doors. All right. This is making me a little more nervous than I expected to be. I'm gonna just brush you toward the door. Go to the door, go to the door, go to the door. Oh my gosh. Okay, 
Okay, bye bye. Oh, that was better. All right, bye bees. See you next time. All right, let me put this away. And we will be done. Yeah. avoid that in the future, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.